for a little bit I thought I was doing really well with my anxiety and things like that but something happened and old stories came back that I thought I had dealt with obviously I haven't old stories came back started replaying in my mind and I just got into a little bit of a crappy place so dealing with that obviously there's still more work to be done there but working through it trying to release those stories and overcome those stories and let those stories and their constant thought patterns be and be in the past where they belong because they don't belong in my future they don't belong in my mind now but yeah we went on a day trip to Rocky um, my son's 13th birthday I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on not too much I'm not going full glam <laughs> I'm like getting I wouldn't even know how to do full glam like seriously I'm just gonna try out this new foundation that I got yes I'm still trying out foundation I must be the queen of foundations at this point I am going to get the right shade and it's going to be beautiful. So yeah, we went to Rocky for my son's 13th. They have a time zone up there. So they got to play a whole heap of games and do a virtual reality thing. I don't know what it was, but they enjoyed it. But yeah, they just played a whole heap of games, which was really fun. We did some shopping because I thought while we're up there, I'll take my son shopping and get him something for his birthday up there because they have more shops there. I'll kind of cut myself off with the head here. These are my new pajamas, don't mind me, I've got no bra on. <laughs> I'm still getting ready for the day. Um, but yeah, took him shopping because I have more shops up there, so that was good. He got a pair of shoes and a game. Um, and I went to Peter Alexander. And we ate a whole heap of food and that was pretty much it. Went to the park on the way out. I always get embarrassed pulling my camera out or I get a bit camera shy and I just don't do it because old stories, feeling judged. But yeah, it was a fun day. I just looked at my foundations and realized, oh my gosh, I probably just got a whole heap of foundation in my hair. Uh, what are the foundations I got? I've already, one of the foundations that I brought, I've already got. So that was kind of stupid. <laughs> But anyway, ah, uh, yeah, I don't think this one's gonna be any good. It's really, ooh, yeah, I don't know. I find it hard to match my foundation because I have light skin and I have freckles. So trying to find the right, right shade, it's kind of like, yeah, it's a process, but anyway.
so I've got the foundation on. It's the porcelain, light porcelain, I do believe. I do have very fair skin and freckles, so beautiful combination. Um, I have lightened a lot of them, so that's really good because, yeah, I had a lot. But I'm going to give this one a go and see how that goes, see how it wears for the day, see how I feel about it. If it changes, because I know sometimes it changes in different light, which really bugs me. My other one looks good in some lights, and then other lights it looks orange. It's just like... Oh, so trying to find that perfect shade is just, yeah, it's a mission, but we're going to get to the bottom of it. But I'm going to clean my room. It's a little bit of a mess again, but I only have the one space. So, you know, can only do what you can do right now. So I'm manifesting my own place, manifesting my own beautiful goddess, gorgeous house where, you know, me and my kids can make our own memories and just live more comfortably and not worry you know if we're upsetting anybody because sometimes we can be loud and yeah a <laughs> whole another story for a whole another day but yeah i'm gonna clean up my room i'm gonna do some journaling and journal through what happened yesterday because if we can f uh find out what our triggers are and why they are triggering us we can heal those and hopefully move past them to be able to live a more you know comfortable happy life at the moment I'm very stressed and I'm very worried and I'm very I feel very deeply which doesn't help because I take on my emotions everybody else's emotions I care about how other people feel and it's very overwhelming and sometimes I don't know the best way to deal with that being empathic and being so deeply empathic so yeah I'm just figuring out what my triggers are overcoming them so I can love myself deeply wholly and perfectly and live my most beautiful life ever and knowing that it's okay so yeah we're gonna do that then I have no idea what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day <laughs> um we'll find something to do I'm sure but yeah I'm gonna go get dressed now and get on with the rest of my morning <laughs> doing my journaling my gratitude journal and my goal setting the more we write down our goals the more we revise them the more we go over them the more we get them into our subconscious and our minds start finding ways to make those things happen our minds love solving things so if you want to know a question or you want to know sorry if you want to know the answer to a question so maybe what's my next step in life ask yourself that question and your mind will get to it and try it and we'll figure out the answer and boom, you might be having a shower and the answer will come to you. You might be having fun outside with your kids and the answer will come to you. And now I'm going to do some, I'm going to record some affirmations. My best way to manifest is by visualizing and affirming. The more I affirm something, the more I believe it real, the more I visualize it then the things just fall into my lap. And I want to learn to manifest a lot more quicker than I've been manifesting. Um, because sometimes my manifestations take so long to come into my reality because I do have that bit of a resistance around them. So not saying your affirmations and then going against them during the day. I want this, but I want this, but. So that's what I've been working on today and I'm going to continue doing that. So I made a no Story. He took out a notepad and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I walked. 
watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost And I looked down at what he wrote I said, son, when you grow up you'll be Got questions on your mind. Life is gonna happen one way or the other, whether you like it or not. Stop looking for the answers, and you'll find what you've got. I decided to go walk and pick up the little fella today. I just really need to get at the house and get into nature and just really detach from just everything, you know, everything, life, you know, just the day-to-day, -day, um, literally just everything. Just get out into nature, go for a walk, clear my head, clear my energy. And for me, this is truly the best way to do that is to just get outside take five minutes either go for a walk or sit and be amongst you know nature or the beach um i love the beach but <laughs> we have none around us at the moment um so just be even being outside just taking five minutes to clear my head clear my energy shake it all off and just really enjoy the sunshine the fresh air listening to the birds feeling the wind on my skin and all that sort of thing so i'm just really enjoying being out here we're on our way home now um had to stop at the park for a quick play so yeah he's having a bit of fun there i'm relaxing and just simply enjoying my surroundings so yeah it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so i'm gonna sit here and take five minutes to be myself and clean my head and clean my energy and yeah just really enjoy where I am in this moment in time. So, yeah. I met a young man Searching for glory I took out an old pen And wrote in my story Walking on down the road When your time is up, it's time to go I pray he reads what's on the wall It takes to heart what I wrote I'm going to crawl into bed now, it's been a very long day got a lot done today which is really good i've got my diffuser going got my hot chocolate i was gonna have a cup of tea and then i was like mm, i feel like a hot chocolate with marshmallows that seemed a lot more tempting and a lot more nicer so i made a hot chocolate i've got that and i just watched buzz light year with the youngest um I think it was quite cute. I didn't mind it. It wasn't too bad. We still got a little bit to go because it's starting to get a little bit late and I wanted to get them to bed. So we still got to watch the rest of that. But um, yeah, it's been a good day. I've got my diffuser going. I've got eucalyptus in there, I, I believe. I had to buy some more of that today. So I got eucalyptus. I got eucalyptus. I was about to stuff that up again. I've got eucalyptus in there ready to go. Um... I'll turn that on just as I'm about to go to sleep and it just helps with breathing and things like that so I've got that ready to go I'm going to crawl into bed now and read my it ends with us um yeah I've heard a lot of people talk about it a lot of people love it I'm still trying to get into it I'm 128 pages in I'm still struggling to get into it I don't know I don't think it's my cup of tea I guess I'm just not a romantic sappy sort of book reader i'm trying my best <laughs> to give it a really good go but i just i don't think it's my sort of book so it is what it is some people like it some people don't 
Um, I've heard nothing but good things about it, but I just don't think it's my little book. I went in today because I had to get some food, but I wanted to get another book called um, The Silent Patient. I actually picked it up once before, but I put it back. If I'm not taken in with the first few pages or the first few chapters, I don't continue reading it. So I'm really a bit skeptic when, it's, when it comes to buying books. So I heard a few other people talk about this one as well, so I was like, alright, I'll give it a go. It's only $12, I'll give it a go. So fingers crossed I like that one. That was my next one on the list to read. So yeah, but I'm going to crawl into bed now and finish reading that. Everything's quiet and peaceful. Everybody's in the bed, so it's good. I'm going to drink my hot chocolate, read my book, and then I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> editing my last video and I really did not like the outro. I don't know if it was because it was filmed at night time and the quality was really grainy but it was really bad so we're scrapping that and we're starting again. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future videos pop them down below as well and I will see you all in the next one. All right bye guys. Hey,